Okay, for all those technically challenged baby boomers of any age actually uh, out there that are struggling to understand technology, this is module two, uh, which is called using playlists for the Numi command center. So let's hop straight into it. Now, before we do, reminder what I said last time, don't try and watch this and then do it later. We're gonna break this one down into three steps. So the idea is we want you to have your Numi command center app out in your hand watching this on a computer a laptop or something so that you can actually do it play then pause and then do and then go to the next thing so there is three steps in this tutorial or module about how to use playlists so let's get straight into it so as i said this one is called using playlists and it's module number two for the numi command center app so the first part of this that we want you to do this is step one of three is creating a playlist so on the left hand side we have a picture of what your screen would look like potentially um, where you'll see your my site at the top and you'll notice at the bottom left hand corner we clicked on the home button that is the first step so when you're on the home screen then click on share to access the playlist feature so click on share at the bottom of the screen to access the playlist feature when you do on the correct share page at the top of the screen top left you'll see you'll see that uh, playlists is written there so what i want you to do is click on playlists and once you've done that i then want you to click on the plus button at the top right hand side of your screen so again after clicking playlists then click the top arrow uh, so click the uh, plus button at the top right hand of your screen and when you do this will appear at the bottom and you'll notice that you can click playlist. So again, top leads to this and you click create playlist. Then we want you to give it a name, something you'll remember, but also something that makes sense. Um, for example, it could be a getting started playlist, could be a discover new me playlist, um, whatever it is you wanna do, put in the name, click create playlist and ta-da, you are done. Okay, so now if you go back to the playlists at the top of the screen, you notice that you should have an empty playlist ready for you to take the next step, which is adding content to the playlist. Now, the cool news about this is that was step one. I want you to press pause and do that first task. If you need to rewind through the very first one, do it again, it's totally fine. You can go through, press pause, do the task. Once you've done task number one, we're on to step two in the three-step process in creating a playlist. So again, holding your phone up in front of you, when you're looking at the screen under share, first I want you to go to the media tab at the top. Now you can scroll across the very top with your finger on your phone and you'll see playlists, products, enrollments, explore. Look for the one that says media. And once you are there, what I want you to do is select a tool that you would like in your playlist. So let's say it was the Discover Numi playlist. What's the first thing that everybody shows? Right across the world in every language, unanimously, everybody does it. Well, under media, you'll find the Numi breakthrough. That's a two minute video. Okay, that's the first exposure tool that absolutely everybody uses. So with that, if you click the plus button, that will actually allow you to add it to your playlist. This will next come up after that. And then of course you need to pick the playlist that you want to add that tool to. This is the next screen that will come up and then select the playlist by clicking the plus button beside it. Okay. Now let's repeat that process because in a playlist, you don't want one video, you want a series of videos. I always, uh, I remember hearing this amazing um, training from a leader in the industry once who said, can you catch tennis balls? Someone said, yes. So they stood on stage and threw a bucket of 50 tennis balls at this person, they dropped them all. Well, that's the whole idea of a playlist. You only get one tennis ball to catch at a time. When you watch one, you go to the next one. So it makes it simpler. For those people who are really detailed, who like sending out five links, that's why you never get any success. Nobody clicks five links, but they'll catch one tennis ball at a time or click one link at a time. So what would be the second video? Well, the most common one that is used in the field goes two minute video opportunity presentation. So again, under media, scroll through all the way to the bottom and you'll find all these different tools that you can add by hitting that plus button. Yet again, the same thing comes up. Then you select the playlist that you want to add it to and click the plus button to add that tool to your playlist as well. Okay, so fantastic. Now, if you click on playlist, you'll see there's a, a content in your new one. Now, I've got a few playlists already, which I'll show you later. 
but this is just showing you top left hand corner that is a brand new playlist with some content in it under playlists okay so just a reminder if you are in any of those playlists like you remember seeing in the my site setup where you could click and drag any video to be first second third fourth fifth anywhere on the page similarly you can grab your finger and drag something further down the page and swap the order okay so again by selecting them putting your finger on it in the playlist and then dragging it to wherever you want it to go you can swap the order of any videos in your playlist at any time which is fantastic so that brings us to the third one but before we do please press pause now and do task number two again if you were confused with anything along that process rewind start number two as the task go through and watch it again and do the task before you get to step number three now, this is the exciting one step number three is the easiest so sending out your playlist so this part's easy as i said you literally just click share and then playlists. So share is the bottom of the screen. Do that on your phone now. Playlists at the top of the screen. Pick the one that you want to send out. That's the one we just created. And then when you do so, it'll come up by opening up the playlist. And at the bottom, you now have a share link button. Now, when you're sharing this, there's various options when you share. Um, the option will come up to send a trackable link. That is the one at the top, a contact smart link. Um, and then underneath that, just like we had in the previous tip with the uh, my site, there is a general share link. So general share link would be something on social media, on the bottom your email footer, potentially on a business card, who knows? But the contact smart link is where you can track that individual um, to see when they open it, when they send it to other people, all those sorts of things, okay? So when you click that button, you have a few options. It'll come up with any information about the contact you have in your phone already. Now, if you haven't added the contact, remember, we touched on this in the first video, how to add somebody into your contacts. I'm using myself as a pretend contact here today. So if I click on Michael Firth in the middle of the screen, you'll notice at the bottom, it's got phone number or copy smart link. Now I'm going to show you how to use the copy smart link as the first priority and I'll tell you why. If you don't have someone's um, phone number, you don't have their email, you just have them on Facebook or something, you can literally just hit copy smart link and then on an iPhone it will come up this copy button and then I can just open up WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, text message, email, I can open up anything I like and then of course I've just used my own profile as an example. Then I just click the paste button when I get into whatever technology I'm using. And ta-da, testing, testing, one, two, three, there is the uh, playlist that we just did, sent out to somebody. And that'll be a fully trackable link, okay? So that, again, I would tell you, press pause now and then complete that third step, sending it to someone. Maybe pick your partner, send it to their mobile phone in the same house so you can test it a few times. Maybe pick your upline, do a few backwards and forwards tests to see when you click it and how it works. But let me now show you how good your playlists can really look because uh, this is the exciting part. When I realized the breadth of what we can actually do when we're talking about um, using this app, it is just absolutely phenomenal. So let me just bring one up for you now. <clears throat> Here we go. So here's the example of what it looks like on a computer, not a phone, with the two simple videos that we had before, okay? So we can literally add the Numi Breakthrough and the Numi Opportunity. And of course, if we click one of those videos, that would send something through to my phone saying that this person has now um, started the first video once they click play. Top right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a one and a two button. That's how they can forward between each video. We've asked um, the providers of the app to make that a bit bigger and red and easy to notice, but that is coming. So that's the very first example of a simple playlist, Discovering Numi, which we just made in our training. But look at all the other things you could do. This is one where I recorded a professional video myself. Uh, I've got the studio capability to do that, not everybody does, but you know, recorded a welcome to Numi, everything Numi worldwide. Um, on that playlist, followed by the two minute video, the opportunity presentation and the neuro video. Again, the most common tools that are being used in the field. 
check out this one. If you don't have the capability of recording a professional video, that's totally okay. You could open your iPhone, record a short video, upload it, um, and then use that in them as well. We'll do that in another training session in a minute because this was designed to help you walk before you run. If I include the complex things on the very same uh, recording, uh, of course, people are gonna get confused. So there's a one using a basic video recorded on an iPhone. Here is the Neuro uh, launch coming up. And here is understanding the newbie compensation plan. So again, in order, as soon as I start someone, I say, you know, you need to understand the comp plan so I can send them straight to this link, which just covers the one pager, the full compensation plan, the five minute and the full deep dive that we have in the app on how the compensation plan works. And then finally, I love this, when in getting someone started correctly, the very first tool everyone uses worldwide in all languages is the fast start guide, okay? I will be adding to this soon the 90 day plan, which was just launched, which would be a second document after the fast start because fast start's short and simple. There's the Numi123 training, the 130.10 training, which guarantees you get much better payouts on the compensation plan than building with three legs. And of course, third party validation. So all of those things can be uh, altered, amended, changed at absolutely any time, which is pretty exciting. So that's module two for your command center app. Um, and it was all about using playlists. So I look forward to seeing you in a playlist, actually module number three, all the best.